Hello guys, it's Cairo. So in my last video, we learned the bare minimum of UV unwrapping. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about why resolution and the size of certain islands on your map makes a huge difference in the quality of the items that you upload. So the size of all textures for the UGC catalog is 256 by 256. And although that isn't super small, it's also not super big. And in order to get the best texture quality out of the items that you make, you're going to want to learn how to devote more resolution to the islands or the parts of the mesh that you think will need to be more detailed. So for example, if you wanted to put a really cute lace detail on, you know, the trim of a hat that you make, you're going to want to give a big area on the UV map to give uh, that part of the mesh a lot of resolution. So to give an example of this, I've opened up Substance Painter and I'll be texturing two of the same hats that I made uh, in the last video uh, to unwrap, but the two of them have two different UV islands. One is super small with a big bottom part, and one is super big with a small bottom part. So you can see that if I start with a kind of small brush size on this pink one, um, the brim part is super small in this one, and the underneath part is very big. And this is something that you want to avoid, when you're doing a map just because not many people are going to see the bottom part of the hat but a lot of people are going to see the top and that's when you're you're going to want to put you know your main talent if you will or your main texture so if i go ahead and i draw like a smiley face you can see that this is so small that everything ends up looking really pixelated but if i go on the bottom here and i can write a whole thing like i can I can write my name, you know, and you can drastically tell the difference in texture just because this part has way, way less resolution than this part does. So the same goes for this one if I switch to my other UV map. So on this UV map, this bottom part is really small. So it's obviously not as small, but you can see that it's pretty, pretty pixelated versus this one. And these are both the same size, but this brim on this map has way way more space so if i come up here and you know i draw a smiley face you can see that the general appearance is much better than on this one so as your models get more and more complex you're gonna want to learn how to say oh this is a flower petal it might need more shading something like that so i'm gonna want to give it a bigger space on the uv map and if this is still a little bit hard to understand i can make another video on it in the future so if this is an issue that you run into, what you can do is you can come into Blender and you can look at your UV map and you can see how small this island is. So what you're gonna wanna do, uh, just like the last time, we're gonna press L and then we can use G, we can use S to move everything around. So not many people are gonna see the bottom part. It doesn't really need to be the biggest thing. And then what we can do is we can take this one and make it way, way larger. That way, when you're on your 256 texture, it won't look as much like a 256 texture. And if you want to amp this up even more and even give yourself a little bit more resolution, say on this inner part, we can do is you can go into edge select mode and you can select this seam right here and you can right click and you can add another seam. So when you unwrap, your mesh will be in three parts instead of two and you'll have way more freedom. So if you take a look up here, we can see that our top brim part has its own dedicated mesh. So we can give that the most resolution and give this brim and the bottom part, you know, either little to no resolution. So we can do something like this, just like that. The best way uh, in Blender to get a good feel for how much resolution you'll be getting on a certain face or a certain part of the mesh is to import a rainbow grid or a UV grid. So you'll just go about putting on this rainbow grid like you do with any other image texture. So here's the rainbow grid that I've just put on here. Um, you can bring it up here as well and you can get a good look at what you'll be getting. So if you want, if when you see you move this around, the less texture that it gets, the more that you shrink it. So I think that's the best way to explain uh, UV resolution 
obviously as your models kind of get more advanced you'll have more to unwrap and that's when you'll have to make some decisions on your own but um if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and i'll try to give you some help so thanks for watching give me a few video ideas to make because i'm already running out again i'll see you guys next time